welcome back to the channel guys farm sim snowy here so another day some more mods have come out so we're going to take a look at them first of all we've got the ponge pack is it a ponge pack this is by universe simu modding obviously it is a pack there's quite a few things in here so first of all we've got the chrono feed which will hold all those crop types and items that you can see going across the screen. So it holds pretty much everything. Only holds a thousand liters though by the look of it. It's three slots on console, 5,400 to buy. And obviously you can fill it up with all those crop types and it will be towed by the looks of it by a truck pickup, I mean, or tractor. And it does show in the screenshots on the Mod Hub website that it's pulled up alongside a pig pasture and it's feeding the pigs. So you can use it as a feeder because that flap there does unfold and it will spill out. So pretty cool. Nice bit of kit. Something different. No options to change anything though. Next up, this is wow cute. I like this. We've got four bow trailers in this pack and this is the first one. <laughs> It only holds one bell, bless it. This is the RQ200. It's 2,475 to buy. It's two slots if you're on console. Like I say, it will hold one bell, square or round. Look at that. <laughs> How cute is that? And then you can change either auto load, yes or no. So you can have it as an auto load if you don't want to load up your one bell but that is well cute i like that next up we've got the spx 816 this will hold 24 bells it's 17750 to buy four slots if you're on console obviously will hold a square or round bells can change a few options on here this is a solid ridgy axle if you know what i mean rigid axle Wheel brand we can change Trelleborg, BKT, Mitus, Vedestein, and back to Trelleborg. You can't change the wheel setup in any of them. Auto load, you can have yes or no, like so. Folding mechanism, you have it standard like this, which is bare. Then we can have straight side one, straight side two, and vario side, and then back to standard. License plate option as well, if you wish. Moving on from that one, we've got the RPX 919SI, 20,150 to buy. This will hold 28 bells, square or round. Four slots if you're on console. And we can change the real brand again. It's basically exactly the same as the previous one, so I won't go through them all. But you can have auto load, yes or no, again. This one's a swivel axle at the front there. So pretty cool. And then we've got this one, which is the RPX 1226, 24,750 to buy. This will hold 32 bells, four slots on console. Again, square and round. We do have one slightly different configuration. That's the one at the top there. So at the minute it says configuration standard. We can change that to black speed. So it changes the under sort of chassis and the front swivel axle. And then back to standard. Everything else is exactly the same again as the other two. Auto load as well if you wish. Then we've got a transport trailer. This is the Specs or SPEX 7519. 26,930 to buy. Four slots on console. Nice looking piece of kit. You've got the ramps there on the back to load up your vehicles. Only one option really, configurations, you've got side guards, yes or no. So if you click yes, it puts those little boards up the front there. And then you can change the license plate as well if you wish. Then we've got two animal transport trailers. So the BHX902, 35,570 to buy. Five slots if you're on console. This will hold either seven cows, 16 pigs, 15 sheep, or nine horses. There is a, well, I thought it was a couple, but it's not, it's one, isn't it? There's so many in this pack, I've forgotten which ones are which. <laughs> so it says separation fence, no or yes, and that puts that inside. Now, I did 
lease one of these and had a little play around couldn't actually see what that did but there's a little front door here that opens it's got nice animations you can unfold the trailer it will sort of lower down it tips and lowers down and opens the back doors and these side gates you can adjust them and move them slide them out swing them around so very cool but I couldn't work out what that separation fence done so I don't know if that is just for sort of decoration but you can change the license plate as well but that's very cool and then we've got its sort of bigger brother the BSX 11503 53,960 to buy so a little bit more pricier seven slots but obviously it holds more animals nine cows 22 pigs 22 sheep or 12 horses exactly the same options as you can see it's a lot longer so very cool so that is the ponge or ponge pack by universe simu modding and then next up also by universe simu modding is case ih 1455xl very cool looking tractor this is 102,000 base price 145 horsepower runs at 25 sorry 24 miles per hour this is eight slots only eight slots considering giants are bringing out their mo uh, mods and yesterday we had one of their tractors 63 slots this is only eight i know people will look at it and go well it's a little bit flat square bland looking but i don't think so i love older tractors like this got a fixed front weight there and there is a few configurations we can do we can change the wheel brand from trelleborg michelin continental mitus bkt vedestein nokians and back to trelleborg in trelleborg we've got standard wheel weights wide tires widen weights rear twins narrows back to standard Michelin you got standard wheel weights wide tires widen weights rear twins back to standard so no narrows on that one continental standard wheel weights wide tires widen weights rear twins narrow tires and back to standard Mitus we got wide tires widen weights and then back to wides BKT standard wheel weights wide tires widen weights rear twins standard Vedestein we've got standard wheel weights wide tires widen weights rear twins back to standard and then Nokians it's just the common all you can't change them at all and we're back to Trelleborg flashing lights you can either have no or go yes and if you look at the case writing on the cab either side of there those lights appear they're going to come on when you put your beacons on there's also some on the rear as well either side of the case right in so that's another option and front loader we have no quickie power and then stole i was wondering what happened to stole because that was kind of like the main one on fs19 but we do have that option and then back to no you can change the main color to anything on here which is pretty cool so you can have it any colour you like, probably not that, but it's up to you if you want. And you can change the license plate as well. So that is a pretty cool tractor. I'm very pleased with that one. That's the case IH 1455XL by Universe Simu Modding. You'll find that in small tractors, by the way. Next up, we've got this. This is the Sepi or Sepi Maxi Soil 350 by Black Eyes Modding. This is a forestry mulcher, so you can find this in your forestry equipment under tools. 55 grand to buy. Requires 300 horsepower to run. Six slots on console. 3.5 meter wide and runs at four miles per hour. The only thing you can change on there, it says wheel setup, but it's that roller on the back, so you can have it standard or without roller, like so. Now, it does say on the Mod Hub website, the description, that this will crush stones up to 50 centimeters in size. So, whether you could use this to crush your stones on the field, I have no idea, but a lot of the mulchers do 
sort of create fields they do mess up the ground when you're trying to remove stumps with them so just be aware with that but that is the Seppi Maxi Soil 350 by Black Eyes Modding. Next up is the Lizard SR series by AFS Mods. This is a pack of subsoilers. So first of all, we've got the SR05 9830 to buy. This requires 89 horsepower. It's two slots on console, 2.3 meter wide and runs at nine miles per hour. You obviously find both of these under subsoilers in your tools section. All you can do is just change the main color to any of those four, like so. But pretty cool. You can create fields with these as well. I did test it. And then we've got the SR09, which is quite a bit of a jump up in price, but it's almost double the working width. It's 25,495 eight to buy requires 165 horsepower three slots on console 4.1 meter wide and also runs at nine miles per hour and again all you can do is just change the main color like so very cool so that's the lizard sr series by afs mods next up we've got a three meter cultivator this is the sam 3m by I don't know how to say this, but it's K-X-U-Y-L-S. K-E-X-U-L-S. I'm not sure. Um, it's 10,500 to buy. Only requires 20 horsepower to run. And it's only one slot on console. And obviously three meter wide. And it runs at eight miles per hour. Pretty standard looking thing, but it's quite cool. If you're sort of looking for some older sort of looking equipment. Be right up your street we can change the main color to anything on here and then the design color is going to be sort of like your tines there like so pretty cool the main color looks like it's going to add on another 300 but the design color is free by the look of it so that is the sam 3m by kxuyls next is this fella which is quite quirky i don't think i've come across one of these yet i don't i don't think so unless someone corrects me this is a mower for skid steer loaders this is by fs minor and you can find this in skid steer loader tools 3100 to buy only requires five horsepower it's one slot and it's 1.9 meter wide and runs at nine miles per hour pretty cool looking thing you can sort of just see the blade at the bottom there as we go around it just sort of catches the light and at the front there as well a bit vicious looking you can change the main color to anything on here so you can get it to suit whatever you want pretty cool pretty basic but that's, i like that it's quite smart so that is the mower for skid steer loaders by fs minor then next up, we've got a planter by that brand. I'm not going to say it because it's had treat people in trouble before. <laughs> but it is the planter 3R12. This is by Nico Do 55. 54 grand to buy. Requires 100 horsepower. It will hold 1204 litres and that's mixed between seeds and fertiliser. So it will fertilise as well. Eight slots on console, 5.4 metre working width, not too bad. And as you can see, it will plant your corn, sunflower, soybeans, sugar beet and cotton. There's no options on this, but it's a very nicely detailed, cool looking bit of kit. As you can see that is in its folded up state so those little hoppers at the top when you unfold it they will lower down and join the bottom ones like that and then i'm guessing the top bigger hoppers are for your fertilizer and there is some ridge markers there as well by the look of it so it's a nice bit of kit that i like the look of that very cool so that's the planter 3R12 rows by Nico Do 55. 
Next up, we've got this, which is a shovel with grapple by Vertex Design. You'll find this under telehandler tools. So this is just for telehandlers, but it will hold all those items and crop types down the bottom. So pretty cool. 3,900 to buy, and it will also hold 3,900 litres of anything down the bottom. Two slots on console. No options to change anything. It is what it is, but it's very cool looking with all the pipes and hoses there. I like that, you can see all the connectors, even the little sticker on the back there, look. Very nicely detailed, and obviously those jaws will open, so you can scoop up whatever you want, and then shut those jaws right down, and carry on with your business. So that is the shovel with grapple by Vertex Design. Next up, we've got Stole Pack. There's quite a few things in here. This is by G-Gen. These are all front loader tools, so you'll find these in your front loader tools section. So they won't fit anything else unless we get some sort of adapter or anything like that. But first of all, we've got the universal bucket. Obviously, they're all varying in slot counts. This is 1400 to buy, holds a thousand liters of pretty much everything by the look of it. One slot on console. Now, you can change the main color on all of these so i won't go through all of that i will hop into here though and just show you the detail of some of them but the main color we can change it to anything on here which is pretty cool like so does add on another 200 though so that is the universal bucket then we've got the bell spike 600 to buy only one slot on console Again, it is what it is, as you can see. Silage cutter. 3,500 to buy. This will hold 1,250 litres of either grass, hay, manure, silage, chaff or straw by the look of it. Again, like I say, you can change all the colours. But very nicely detailed again with all the rams there. Look, ready to go. Pretty cool. Then we've got a bow handler, 7, 1700 to buy, two slots on console. They are all nicely detailed with all the hoses and pipes, connectors there, look. Very cool. Log fork, 800 to buy, one slot on console. So it is pretty much like the front loader tools we got base game of SS, FS19. Manure fork, 1,000 to buy, holds 1,000 litres as well, one slot. It will hold grass, hay, manure, silage, chaff and straw, like so. And then you've got fork with grapple. This will hold 1,250 litres of the same, two slots on console, 2,100 to buy. Quite vicious looking, but very cool. Then we've got the pallet fork, 800 to buy, one slot on console. Again, you can change the colours, let's just see if it changes. Yes, it changes all of it. Very smart. And then we've got the last one, a round bell fork, 1100 to buy, that's only one slot on console. And that's for your bells, obviously. So very cool. Decent pack, that. That is Stole Pack by G-Gen. Next up is Silage Additive Drum by Ur Shabba. It's 500 to buy, only holds 50 litres and it's one slot on console. This is obviously for silage additive, which you can add to your forage harvesters and forage trailers. I think there's some mods, and I believe there's a mod out for balers as well now where you can add this additive to it as well, which is pretty cool if you're doing silage bales. There it is, there's no options at all, but it's very cool looking. Looks well used, a bit weathered, as it would do. So obviously you can buy these, you can pick these up by hand, so you can load them up into your pickup truck or on a trailer. And then you can just take them out to the field, whatnot like that, and fill up those pieces of equipment I just said. So that is Silage Additive Drum by Ur Shabba.
And last of all, we have got these. This is Light Poles Pack by Urshaba VSR Modding Sir. You can find these in your build mode. We'll look at them in there first. These will be under decoration and then under lights. There we go all the way to the end. There's eight different types of them. I'll go through the slot counts as we're looking at them because they're all show one at the minute because obviously I've placed one down. But they're all 100 to buy. And as you can see, there's all weight just there. But we will look at them a little bit better. And obviously, if you want to place one down, you just do that. And you spin it around if you want. So it's going to be quite cool to decorate your farm with. Now, although there's no sort of lights visibly on, you do get this glow on the ground I think that's probably from the first couple because if we go back up into there it's not shining here so I think it's probably either one of these four here or a couple of them that are doing it anyway we've got this one first which looks just like a normal street light I think you've got these on Elm Creek somewhere dotted around the roads some of them are very nicely detailed then we've got sort of a maybe an older style looking one hooked over this one almost looks like um, floodlights and again if you come up to the pole you can see it's all sort of that weathered galvanized look and then we've got this fella which almost looks like it's sort of some sort of outdoor heater <laughs> and then this guy as well these five here are all one slot so very low slots anyway then we've got this older style sort of street lantern this one is three slots but this has got some fantastic detail on it if you crouch down it's got some old sort of like posters and stickers stuck to it very cool and it's all sort of weathered there's scrapes and chips off the paintwork all the way up very cool looking one though and then this fella, which is a wooden pole, I think. If we come up, it sort of more looks wooden. Another older style looking lantern. This one's two slots. Again, quite nice detail. And then this guy here, which is like an older style street light as well. That's also two slots. But again, this has got some nice detail with the old sort of stickers on. This bottom one almost looks like it's some sort of old newspaper. A little bit of graffiti there as well look FS <laughs> nice little touch there's some scrapes and scratches and that says ever whatever that means so they're pretty cool I should imagine that all the others will come on automatically at night when all the other lights sort of turn on on your maps but that is a light poles pack by Urshaba VSR modding sir and I believe that is it for today. One thing I forgot to say at the end of my mod review video yesterday is I sort of took a different approach, definitely with all the sort of pieces of equipment by looking at them in the store instead of getting them all out because it takes quite a while to set them up. If there is anything that looks a little bit more complex and complicated like the animal trailers today i will get them out and i'll look at them and sort of go through and test them so that i can tell you guys and then obviously if there's any placeables like this and yesterday we had a few i will place them all down and we'll look at them like this but i just thought all the sort of tractors implements pieces of equipment we'll just look at in the store like we have done the last two videos so I was just wondering what your thoughts were on that, if you were happy with that sort of setup, the way I've changed to do sort of mod reviews, because it gets through them a little bit quicker, it still gives you an idea of what they are and what they do. So I hope everyone's okay with that as we move forward. But I hope you have all enjoyed the mod review. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.